Good morning, fourth graders. Today, I thought I'd introduce to you Fireflame. Fireflame is our bearded dragon who lives at our farm, and he is a fancy bearded dragon because he's got this beautiful orange coat. He is a reptile, and he loves the sunlight, but he is definitely um, all male. When he gets all excited, he gets brightly colored. And his name again is Fireflame. And Fireflame's a good boy. He just likes to come out and climb and play. And today, our story that we're going to read is all about a dragon. So that's our devotional that we're going to do today from Indescribable, uh, written by Louis Giglio. It says, Dinosaurs, dragons, oh my. Be strong in the Lord and in his great power. Wear the full armor of God. Did you know dragons and dinosaurs are in the Bible? Check this out from Job 41. Can you catch Leviathan on a fish hook? If you put one hand on him, you will never forget the battle. He has rows of shields on his back. Flames blaze from his mouth. The sword that hits him does not hurt him. The darts and spears, small and large, do not hurt him. He treats iron as if it were straw. He is a creature without fear. Kind of like flame. Hmm. Some people try to say Leviathan is just a crocodile, but that doesn't sound like any crocodile I've ever seen. Rather, the word dragon comes to mind. And then there's this in Job 40. Look at Bo Behemoth. Look at the strength he has in his body. The muscles of his stomach are powerful. His tail extends like a cedar tree. Hmm. The muscles of his thighs are woven together. His bones are like tubes of bronze metal. His legs are like bars of iron. Again, some people say that Behemoth is an elephant, but have you ever seen an elephant with a tail like a cedar tree? God made some amazingly strong things, but the strongest is something he actually makes just for you. It's called the armor of God. And it is stronger than even Leviathan's rows of shields, Job 41, 15. This armor has a piece to cover every part of you, including your heart and mind. With the power of God and his truth, it will protect you from the devil and all his lies. You can read more about the armor of God in Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. So like a knight dressing for battle, put on your armor every day. How? By praying and reading the truth of his word. Here's our prayer. Thank you, God, for your armor. Teach me how to put it on and wear it every day. Be amazed. The acid in your stomach is so powerful, it can melt metal. But an armor of mucus protects your stomach lining and keeps that acid in your tummy where it belongs. So the acid breaks down only what it's supposed to. Pretty cool. My Mr. Fire Flame loves to be read to. Do your pets love to be read to too? If they do, try to take a video of you reading to your pet today. All right. I hope you have a great day and thanks for visiting me on Google Classroom and thank you for all the hard work that you've been doing. I am so, so proud of you. All right. See you later, Fire Flame. Bye. <laughs>